to get pies thrown in our faces. Yes. Oh, the pie face and fetish. Oh, this is such yeah, a good one. 10, 15 in a row. Mm-hmm. And um, <laughs> like right before she went to throw the first one, I just stood there like this. There's a picture of me standing there with the fakest smile on my face. And I'm just like, hee, hee, hee. And she went to throw it. And I went, wait. What am I doing here? <laughs> what the fuck is our life? I like I had to have a drink and I had to like think about it like no, I this sounded like fun a week ago, but now that you're inches away from throwing a fucking pie in my face, <laughs> I'm not I don't fucking yeah. want to do this. And then the best part was it, we had to be serious and I was her slave and she was my dom, but we're also slipping around and like falling mm. and helping each other up. <laughs> in like pie and like whipped cream. And she, and- yeah, and she doesn't know how to dom, so she's like, I am a pie goddess. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, yes, ma'am, you're a goddess. And then she falls. A goddess and of pie. <laughs> I, I help her up and we're slipping all over each other and she's like, eat that pie, slave. And I'm like... <laughs> Yes. <laughs> and uh, it's just the most ridiculous thing ever. And uh, yeah. You had to do a stupid slave one with me oh. where you were in that maid costume all chained up. And then you hit me over the head, bonked me like it was a cartoon. Oh, yeah. She bonked me over the head and then turned the tables on me. Yeah. <laughs> the mean Dom got what she deserved. Yeah. <laughs> Our job is so ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's just so ridiculous. You just got to roll with it. You just got to laugh. Yeah, but shout out to Shyla Jennings for getting me paid that day. I love Shyla. I probably won't get hired back. But Oh, and also on set, they had a sex doll. Ooh. So like 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 the most realistic sex Some doll ever. Some of them are great. Ever. Those things are like $5,000. Yeah, Have real toenails and everything. sex doll? It mm-hmm. really looks like her. It's amazing. So wow. we were like feeling it up. I in my car and drive to the carpool lane. Right. <laughs> Be like, you know Asa, I care. <laughs> <laughs> yes, officer. Yes. She's my passenger. Which is why you're not going to give me a ticket for this. Uh, this um, she's just really tired she's from her She's meditating. Yeah, so she's just not going to respond to you. Shyla got like really aggressive with the sex doll though. And we kind of got yelled at for it. Mm. And she got so angry later. She's like, why the fuck are you going to put a sex doll there if I'm not allowed to molest it? <laughs> of course I'm going to grab those titties. And she got like really upset. We did a scene, I think I think that it just like visually the most intense thing as I was wearing um, these white out contacts so I couldn't see anything. It just makes the room, it just mm-hmm. makes everything completely white. And um, I did not know that those existed. Oh yeah, they're really they're really fun. It's like having a blindfold that it you isn't. can't take yeah. off. Wow, <laughs> that's really interesting. It's really fun. Um, it's a lot of teamwork to get them in. Like people are like, "Oh man, they put them in you," and I'm like, "Well, we we put them in me because because yeah. I had to like hold my eye open and I'm I freak out about my eyes, so I'm sitting there screaming because I'm assuming I, yeah. that you don't wear contacts normally. No, right. <laughs> so, yeah. so so it was it was a process getting them in, but. I couldn't see anything. And then um, we used medical, like, sutures mm-hmm. and sutured my, like, labia closed. And then... Okay, wait. Explain that to me. Explain okay. to me how that happened. So... I thought suturing was burning. No, suturing is, um, is like the needle and thread. Oh, wait. So they tie... They... they wait. Right. They <laughs> sewed your vagina closed? Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Yeah, okay. yeah, and then and then took like an anal toy and like um it, it, like a, like an enjoy so like the kind of like hook shaped uh-huh. anal toy and put it in my ass and then um basically like you know stimulated my G spot through my ass so that I squirted through the sutures. Uh-huh. So that was probably the most like visually intense thing I've done. For Sorry, sure. I'm like can't get past that. So <laughs> did, that did that hurt? Yeah, it was that was it was excruciating. It was really, really, really painful. Wow! Yes. But was there a part of you that enjoyed the pain then, or do you enjoy pain? I enjoy pain. Okay. Um, and and for that, I don't know that. Like that, sometimes in the moment, the pain isn't a turn on. Like for that, it's like it really was just painful. Mm-hmm. But it's it's. Um, but like later I'll look back on it or when something sexual is happening afterward, like, mm-hmm. you know, then 
you know, I have G-spot stimulation going on and stuff like that. And it kind of almost adds to the sexual experience. But in the moment that I'm receiving pain and nothing but pain, I'm not necessarily turned on. Yeah. Were you, was there any point during that suturing that you were like, this is not a good idea. Maybe why, like, why am I doing this? Or were you yeah. like, determined to go through with it? <laughs> I was determined to go through with it. But I also, like, I, I, re- I was sitting there, um, and, and like, they keep their cameras rolling basically consistently throughout. So there's, like, weird, like, behind-the-scenes footage sitting around somewhere of me sitting there in bondage being like, wait, 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 wait. And then, like, Daniel is standing there with the suture. He's like, okay, I can wait. He's like, just tell me when you're ready. And I'm like, okay, I'm ready. And then, like, I can feel him getting closer to me. I'm like, no, no, wait, wait. And I was like, <laughs> you guys, this is stupid. This is really stupid. This is horrible. This is stupid. Why are we doing this? And I'm like, okay, I'm ready to do it. He's like, are you sure you want to? And I'm like, yes, I do. And then I'm like, no, wait. Because, yeah, basically every, every scene I do with insects at this point it's like an episode of jackass (laughs) (laughs) it's like why would you do that to yourself and i'm like i have no idea i thought it would be interesting (laughs) were you guys on set with me when we shot flesh for digital playground yes yes do you were you there when we shot the final scene with aria where the guys came in like the chalice and she's supposed to drink it yes i bought that chalice Okay, so yeah, so you were. I think I still have that chalice. Well, no, because what I did was I thought I thought I was trying to be polite, and I thought I was like, well, I'll put coconut oil in there so you don't have to drink cum because that's kind of gross, right? Um, you know, and that'll be better. And um, she was like, she wouldn't do it. She's like, I'm not going to drink coconut oil. She's like, hey, do you know how many calories are in coconut oil? She's like, that's ridiculous. I'm like, oh, but, so but five guys of cum. Yeah. Is- so I was like, so you just drink the cum instead? And she was like, yeah, she was like offended that I like offered her the coconut oil alternative Here, here's because it was going to make her fat. And I was like, I'm pretty <laughs> sure that like cum is a high calorie count. I mean, I don't know. I've never like. You would think it might be. Does it? I think we need to know this. People need to look this up and tell find us out that is know. if cum has a high calorie count and if it matters, if it depends on your diet. Now, see, one thing I learned the hard way was when I did my gangbang, which mm-hmm. I've never done anything that you, you when know. you they learned the hard you, way, yeah, the hard, the really <laughs> hard way. Uh, well, and on top of it, I did everything. It was just like n- no holes barred. Um, but I did my first <laughs> DP, my first double vag, my double anal. Everything happened in that that gangbang. So right. it was kind of just crazy off the charts. But that's where I learned that you know multiple guys coming on you is not the most fragrant thing. <laughs> you get to, you get all these different like. Body aromas. types and aromas and pH levels. Yeah, and it just kind of doesn't mix well. Mm. I remember working with Alexa Thomas, I think it was. Yeah, I, right? she's from Spain, right? Yeah, beautiful, yeah. beautiful, beautiful looking girl. girl. I was like, okay, so we're doing the, the comedy part of it. And I was shooting at Kelly Holland's house. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if you, well, you might notice, but the windows are really, really thin. The glass. I, I know what you're talking about. I've seen this video, but go on. Yeah. And so we're there meant to be ten- and I've literally just put my hand on the on the window and the whole thing is just shattered. The whole window. And <clears throat> I've looked down and I've I've still to this day I've still got it. My whole hand was cut open, sliced open. And I'm thinking, oh no. And I'm thinking, I, I can't, the bleeding won't stop or anything like that. So, but all in my head, I'm thinking, gosh, she's really beautiful. I think she's going back to Spain next week. So I don't know if I'm going to work with her. So I've just literally said to Mark Nicholson at the time, right, get me the first aid kit. I've bandaged my hand up <laughs> and carried on with the scene. And I Somehow I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. And it was just in my head, but yeah, um, there's a few. And then obviously there's a few scenes that, um, I broke my jaw playing soccer and I was in intensive care for like nearly five days with it. And then I came out and I was probably home for like a week and I get really bored. I, I'm not one, but I can't sit still. I like to be working. And, and it was at the time when I just started directing as well. And I had a load of scenes lined up. Um, I remember it was Alexis Ford, for example, she was doing her first ever boy-girl scene. Um, there was, 
oh, I can't remember, uh, Chloe Amore and another uh, girl. And But I had my mouth wired shut. So I, you know, I couldn't talk and it was probably bliss. It was probably the best time to ever have me on set. Um, but, you know, the office were great. They were like, look, take as long as you want. You know, don't, there's no need to come back, you know, stressing to come back. But I wanted to shoot. And so I just had the guys in the office rewrite scripts. And they had scripts where I was a dental patient. They had script where I was in the in the emergency room. They had another script where I was a mime and things like that. So I just went straight back to work. But the only problem a is, mime. yeah, the only problem is, is you know, I I like I use spit to, to you know to get yeah, but I couldn't spit, and so I'm literally going to the girl, mm-hmm. putting my hand there so she could spit on my hand so I I could jerk off. So yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, it was interesting. They were some interesting things. How did your crew manage that? Because I just feel like they would be taking full advantage. Oh, Because you can't they talk back really, to them. Yeah, they were loving it. And I'd just give the eye roll. They knew, like, for me, I'm good with my, you know, this was, yeah, no, I'd had Botox as well. So it was hard to even give, like, <laughs> really bad, uh, give, like distinctive, dirty looks. But they kind of knew. I kind of change it up. I start, if I'm annoyed, I start going really fast. And like, so they, they would know. But to be fair, they were fine with it. They were, they were loving it that they couldn't hear me and didn't have to listen to me. So it was great. I think the girl, that was probably the, these are the girls' favorite scenes with me. Yeah, he didn't say a word all the time. And he had this magical penis. So they got the best of both, didn't they? Did you like bring like a chalkboard and write things? Like, how did you give people direction? I was thankfully the scripts are quite self-explanatory anyway, but it was just like map. I, I would have my notes beforehand for the scene, so I would give them to my camera guy and then say, "Hey, look, just you know," mm-mm-mm. and then he would, you know, tell them what I wanted, and then I'd be like, mm-mm, mm-mm. and then if he'd say something I didn't like, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Like that again, but I could, I could kind of get certain kind of words like, yeah, no, 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 no. that's that's as much as I can. That's as oh much. Oh my god. Can. We shot a scene with Jasmine St. Clair where uh, a movie, I believe the movie was called Blow It Out Your Ass. And she literally. <laughs> what was had, it about? She had. She had they, they, I did suspense. They staged it to where they had something, a tube, and then they had a thing that they literally put in her ass. An enema. At, no, like, like a, a thing that. Bubble gum. That they, she literally, they, she shot a flame like 40 feet long out a of her ass. A flame? A flame. <laughs> like that was John's done, big thing. Like you've never done this. Yeah, well, who hasn't in, in recreationally, but professionally, I'd never seen it done before. No. But John was like he goes this is going to be so fucking brilliant this is they're going to be talking oh about this for years Darling. and i'm like thinking to myself okay the girl is uh blowing fire out of her uh anus and we had to frame it so that you couldn't see the the tube you know so it just looked like fire coming out of a girl's ass um and i'm thinking the whole time i'm shooting Wait, this I'm hold, like, on, hold on hold on was the tube in her ass or was it like behind there, her ass there was a, a tube that went up under her body imagine she's in okay. doggy bent over okay. the tube goes up under her body okay and then there's a receptacle type thing or not a receptacle but like a, another larger tube that they put in her butt okay and then on the other end of that was a gas canister <laughs> So there what was literally could go wrong. What could go wrong? <laughs> and I'm like 25 or something at the did time. Did he like insurance? Uh, no, this guy did. I'm not even sure this guy was it's legally like in the country. So never mind that. But I only was. On no, set. but uh, but I I just remember at the time thinking to myself, why are we doing this? <laughs> like. Like I don't. I thought we made you know, porn because people want to jerk off or something. That, There's a girl that might die uh, shooting fire out of her anus. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q&As, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.